Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I'm filming my advice and revision tips on how I went from a U in at the start of year 13 to an A um, overall for biology. I apologise if it's going to be long because I want to go in as much detail as I can. So yeah, so my first tip is to print off the spec, but like, I know everyone says that, but I'll explain how you can use that to your advantage and um, because I did this quite late I basically wrote out each spec point what I typed up on my laptop and I'd write a, like bullet points to do with that spec point and this is for the whole two years worth of biology and I had to fit it in from March onwards I feel like I'd be able to let you know actually for example like the, the week beginning 4th of March I'd write like biology as the topics exchange services i do like two spec points for that and then like i would do a2 because i left everything last minute and so i had to fit everything two years worth of bio content into that i'd have the spec point in bold i didn't really care about titles and stuff i'm sorry you're doing a low like there is no time to make things pretty so like it's just it's just time consuming so i literally wrote enzymes at the top the spec point in bold, the little things to do with that, and like for each part, all the spec points for the whole of OCR biology. And if you do bio and you do OCR, you'll know there is a lot. Path papers are so important, so when I'd go through them, and if I didn't know an answer after marking it, I would literally find the spec point that I needed to go over, read over it, and then go over it. So this is a great revision method to do um like one while you're doing it in fact is really good because you're breaking down the complicated information into the simple spec points that you need for the exam but then afterwards you can also use it as an extra revision tool so it works both ways i think i would have felt less stressed had i started it in december my next revision tip is to use diagrams and i never did this in year 12 year 12 was a mess for bio so I started using a lot more diagrams and as you can tell, I drew them rather than in year 12. I literally like, I think I copied the whole textbook. I literally typed everything out, copied the diagrams, like copied and pasted it. So I didn't even learn the diagrams. I didn't understand them. Whereas this, I literally drew myself and I actually understood them. By drawing the diagrams, it really helped me understand what part is where and like, the processes and like as you can tell by my notes look how simple they are literally like a table like this is class notes by the way i wouldn't like be writing out the whole book even when i got home i would not do that i would literally do a table and like write out similarities and differences between different things like that's another example i also work quite well when it's like landscape and kind of dotted around the place as you can see it's kind of like, it's not really neat. And that's how I kind of work, I guess. I'd have the diagram there and I'd literally write the different th like definitions and that's it, simple. It's easy for me to kind of look over and test myself. My next revision method is to do with past papers. So obviously everyone told you to past papers and they are important, but with doing the new A-level spec, you are limited. So just use them once you've done the whole set once you've done i'd say this and you've gone over every single set point then do past papers because that's what i did um in year 13 year 12 when i was doing them i remember i just kept looking in the mark teams because i hadn't gone over the content i hadn't gone through it properly so technically it wasn't really useful whereas after doing this obviously i was pushing for time because i left it last minute but because i did that I then did the path papers properly and that really helped like under time conditions I actually knew the answers so it did work out I guess I will leave a link as well to all the websites I've used because there's a website called physics and maths tutor and I'm sure everyone uses that because it is really good I in my spare time while watching something I typed out because they've got path papers um per topic and that's obviously really useful they are old spec but at the end of the day if you want to know if you've got the knowledge this is the best thing to do i wrote out each topic and i looked at how many path paper topics i had and from february onwards i would try do like two 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 or three a week i calculated it like as you can tell i've written dates while doing that i would also 
find the hard ones and kind of write the answers out like i type them up and i kind of create like tables as you can tell and some of them are screenshot because i don't have time to be doing all this fancy fancy stuff you just got to know the information for every single one of these i created a sheet that i could use to go back over with because obviously during june and like the exam time you don't have time to actually do these well, you could do, whereas I just used to look over this and test myself quickly because I didn't want to waste time of like finding it on the internet then loading it and stuff like that. I just wanted it there. The day before an exam, any topic I struggle with, I'd go over it, kind of learn, look through the mark scheme, understand the way that they want us to answer it because they want the basic keywords. You get marks of that because I tell you, I don't know the, like, the complicated stuff. I think the reason I got an A was because I used the basic knowledge and then applied that. Whereas in year 12, I kind of tried to learn the complicated stuff without understanding the basics. So I would lose so many marks. So as you can see, I'd write the question of like, describe the process of cloning plants by tissue culture, which by the way, came up in my exam. So like, it was so useful doing this. Like a lot of this came up in my exam because it's past paper questions. After a topic or after every few days, because that's what I did to test my short term memory, I'd write down everything I could remember from a topic. Right, well, with some of them, when I want it to be all fancy fancy, I would actually mark them in a different colour, but this one is marked, you probably just won't be able to tell because I'm very messy. But I would go through the book again and my spec point, for example this, and kind of cross check to make sure I've got all the key details. And I'd also write the spec first, so I've got an idea of what I need to write because you're not just going to randomly write out the whole thing. My next tip is to use a whiteboard like this is my favorite thing ever this is what got me my a star a star a in my a levels this year like if you live in the uk four or five pounds from wilco best purchase i've ever made in my whole life like this saved my a levels i use this for everything i would draw diagrams like when i watch youtube videos on like topics this is so useful because when you write, it often takes time, and with bio, with the amount of content, if you leave it last minute, which you're going to end up doing even if you start early, to be fair, you don't have the time to kind of be writing slowly, whereas this, it's quick and easy. If you make a mistake, you can quite, like literally rub it off and you really like rewrite it. So another revision tip is the websites you should use online. So one being Physics and Maths Tutor. Oh my god, this video is so long. I am so sorry. It's like 18 minutes in. Okay, I need to hurry up. I'm so sorry. So physics and math tutor, snap, revise. Oh my gosh, this saved me. I didn't understand a lot of like complicated like concepts. So snap, revise helped me to break it all down. Like they'd also have the spec points by the way. So if you don't know, snap, revise is an online website and they do, they're mainly known for videos. And when I got it, um which was actually kind of gifted by them they like let me use it for free so which was really nice of them i was an idiot three weeks before the exams like for my bio exam i didn't know they did notes because one of my friends used it and he i was like all oh, these notes look really good like um let me ask where he got it from and then when he was like snap revise i was like wait what like i was so stupid that i didn't realize these notes are amazing and i wish i had them throughout year 12 and 13 I understand stuff when it's like this, when it's quite simple, it's not complicated and it's just easy to read because obviously I find it really hard to like read it when it's like cluttered together and their videos are also amazing. They do it by spec points and they've also got like exam questions and I think I have a 20% off like discount code thing that I can like give, I think it's pre-20, so P-R-I-S-H-20 to get 20% off and they also have the practicals there because practicals are a big part of exams nowadays, especially for sciences. And there's another website which I've written down. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Sensa, Sensina or something like that. I will write it up here at the top and I'll leave a link. It is free and that was really good as well. It's not as detailed as that revised because it's just a basic revision method. But it's good as well at the end of the day. There are so many resources out there that you spend a lot of time looking for them and that I did that all the time. I wasted my time looking for resources, websites and everything. So these are the ones that I recommend you and I will leave a link 
if you need to like if you want to use them because that's what helped me get from a u to an a my next tip which is i guess for every subject is to just be organized see look i just the lighting just changes look sorry i don't know what i'm doing a levels are hard and i think everyone knows that so you just got to be organized i just found these online random weekly planners because i told you i kept losing my other planner i don't know where it is now i can kind of show it to you because i've got stuff about google so now i can talk about that but like the days i was busy so that was the day of my interview i think that's so crazy put in the different slots of when i was going to do the spec point so like on Wednesday after the interview I was going to do like at seven o'clock one spec point and like I would I've done this from April all the way throughout June um to kind of know what I need to do it's just different ways I guess because I need to change it up and another way I did it I typed up on my Mac so I kind of had a to-do list and my other ones for other subjects were a lot more detailed um but bio i just had basically every topic i needed to do so basically i'd had it like this so just make sure you're organized i'd say for biology because you can get it done it's just you need to be smart about how you do it and the for each topic you need to do the range of things so you need to have notes but simple notes don't have like tons and tons of notes you need to have diagrams, you need to have done path papers, you need to have like a revision method or revision thing that you do, like me, like I use the whiteboard, like find your thing and then keep using that, but be consistent and do that for each topic, don't just do it for like respiration, you need to do it for everything because any one of those topics can come up. And my last tip is flashcards, well okay, so I've hated flashcards, I still do, they don't work. I tried them from year nine onwards for GCSEs, they did not work until two to three weeks before the exam when I was doing my path paper question, like when I had written it out or like co copied and pasted the um, the mark scheme onto so that I could go over it. The ones that I still found hard and the ones I struggled with, like after using my whiteboard, I'd write it on my flashcard so that these are the ones that I had to focus on because in year 12, I had written tons and tons of flashcards, did not go over them once. That was a waste of time. There are only one or two questions from each topic I struggle with, what do I do? So I tried it out and it really worked because in the evening I would just look at them and there was only about 20 I'd say that I had. And for example, I'd write the question out here and then I wrote out the answer here, so like in arrows. And this was useful to some extent I'd say, just for like little bits. So from the title of the video, you'll know that I had a, I've been getting used practically for two years since even in September and I managed to get an A and I want to prove to you guys who, who struggle to kind of believe in themselves because I never did, you can do it. If I can do it, I am telling you, no one ever believed that I could get an A. I didn't even believe myself. My teacher did it. No one did. At this point, all I wanted was to get a, a C and I want to show you that you can get used all year, but you can still smash the last exam. I was disheartened for the last two years when I wasn't predicted a B, and um, all my tests I've been getting used. So, 23, that was a U. I got 26, I think this is 26 of 100 or something, so a U. Then I've been getting, I got a D there. I got 22 again. Um, and as you can tell, it's a U. Then I had another U, because that was 16 out of 50. Then I had, this one's not so bad, 35 out of 66, pretty decent for me. Then I've got, as you can tell, 42, which is a D. Then I got 28 out of 70, which I think was a, yeah, a D. And then I've got a retest, because I had to do many, 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 many retest last september so i had a mock in year 12 to decide predicted grades got a d in that and my predicted was c i was trying to get a b predicted for uni but and we got another chance in september for a reset i ended up getting a u in that one so i think i got lower so obviously she couldn't move it up which was fair enough and somehow i managed to get an a so you know just saying you can do it honestly if i've been getting u's 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 and d's and e's like you've got this let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me or you want me to do um and yeah and any questions i'm happy to help you like 
Now I feel like with bio, I'm a lot more confident in terms of, not the content by the way, but like on how to revise and if you need extra like tips and stuff. Um, so yeah, I shall see you later. Bye.